The Card Counter is the latest uh, crime thriller drama film by Paul Schrader, written and directed by him. Lately, he's been doing really well. I really enjoyed his uh, movie, uh, First Reformed. So now he's back with another one. This is a character-driven story about William Tell. That's not his real name, but that's the name he's going by. He uh, went to prison for a while, and we'll find out why later. But he learned how to count cards. So he likes to go to casinos, and he wins no more than $1,000 per sitting and then leaves quickly because the casinos won't bother him if he, he makes a modest amount and he tells you how his system of how to count cards you have to just remember and like blackjack's usually his main game you know he, he doesn't really do it because he likes it but he just that's what he's very disciplined and uh you know very vigilant about that and of course um while he's going to all these different casinos they have events and stuff and he bumps into someone from his past a major john gordo who he recognizes but then there's another young man who, who's there who gives him his phone number uh, and name and then meets him later. This young man wants to get revenge on Major Gordo because Major Gordo is not his real name. It's in fact, he used to, um, he was a civilian contractor who did a lot of terrible things in Abu Ghraib. So his uh, actions, uh, training different people affected our main character and our, this new character too. So they sort of, um, he sort of invites him out to be a gambler takes them along and they meet uh, La Linda. She is a sort of recruiter. She gets rich people to stake gamblers and then for a portion of the winnings. So he finds himself, you know, not stepping out of his comfort zone in order to build up enough money to try to steer this kid off the wrong path. And it's a very character driven story. I really like the slow methodical pace. Um, really great acting. Oscar Isaac it just gives such a magnetic performance. He's so dark. This is like his the closest you'll ever get to him being a villain role. Um, but uh, man, he was just really good in the movie. So was Tiffany Haddish. I um, she, I just kind of feel like she's been sho shoved down our throats ever since Girls Trip, but this is the first movie I've seen her in and she did pretty well. I mean, she wasn't over the top. She, she's just like a normal person. So good performance from her. Willem Dafoe's not in it very much, but he's the antagonist. And then there's Ty Sheridan who does okay. So everyone does a really good job. It's mainly those four. Lots of, there's an interesting um, direction style for some of the flashbacks too. I really liked, um, it felt like one of the homage to those gambling movies, but the movie's less about gambling and more about like dealing with your past and the sort of you know guilt, mental illness sort of thing. I really like the, the themes involved in, in it. Uh, the only thing I didn't like is that the ending was a little bit on the weird side. You know, it was artfully done, but a little rushed. But overall, it's, uh, the card counter is an interesting crime drama film worth checking out, and I give it a seven out of 10.